Hi, I'm Shanti, the artist behind Shanti Finance. As you know, I have been working on my Zodiac-themed painting series, and today I present you Sagittarius, sixth of the Zodiac-themed series. So let's get started on this mixed-media project. I started off this painting by creating using my uh, white oil pastels and uh, putting the lines in there wherever I wanted some lines and this worked like a resist just like on the masking fluid would. Then I wetted the whole surface of the paper like you can see and I am going to put uh, start putting my watercolor washes. The idea is to put uh, create a gradient of watercolors with the uh, yellow in the middle or like light orangish color in the middle which then um, then goes on to magenta and then purple and then blue and create the gradient of kind of like a sunset sky but in this uh, painting eventually I ended up keeping the yellow orange part very less and mostly like the blue uh, magenta part it was predominant in the sky and that's what how I uh, tended to make it so I just wanted to create a smooth gradient and I don't have to be exceptionally smooth on this uh, watercolor wash because I'm going to go over the entire watercolor uh, wash with oil pastels so just want the colors to be in the right place and uh, provide a nice background uh, or vehicle for my oil pastels to move on with. Now I'm on to the body of the lady archer which symbolizes my Sag Sagittarius uh, uh, figure or rather the Sagittarius painting. Um, so uh, I'm just creating a loose sketch with watercolors, you can say. Now to create these marks or rather the straight line edges, you can see that I'm using a scale and uh, so that these arrow marks or wherever I need very straight lines, they can be absolutely straight. Because when you're working with your hands, even if you are very good at creating straight lines with your hands, with working with oil pastels, uh, it's a little bit, could be a little bit tricky. So use that scale and it generally helps out a lot. Initially, I'm just laying down colors, the similar colors that I have laid down previously with watercolors i'm just going over with oil pastels right now so wherever there was purple i'm putting on purple wherever there was magenta i'm putting in magenta wherever there was blue i'm putting in blue that's all that is, there is to it and i'm doing multiple layers on it and, and so that the layers of color or the different colors overlap with each other to create a gradual transition of the colors a gradient and eventually i'll come back with all different kinds of blending methods and blend out all the colors but first i need to put a nice good layer of pigment on the paper so i need to go over it at least with two layers of oil pastel it could be the same color or a different color but i think two layers is a minimum to have enough pigment on the paper before i start blending the initial blending uh, what i'll do is i'm going to use um, my finger but i don't like to get my fingers dirty so what i do is i wrap my finger around a rag a cotton rag which can be anything from a cut up t-shirt whatever you have handy if the cloth is cotton it will be better for you and then i wrap it around my finger and then keep blending uh, make sure you go from lighter to the darker areas because once there is pigment on the uh, on the cloth so if you come from the darker areas like from purple towards the yellow then your yellow will be getting muddy with the purple so go from lighter areas to darker areas so from the center outwards or whatever it, it is in this case uh, then I'm darkening out up the edge edges so I'll put a little bit of black on all the edges and some areas at the bottom and everything and then I'm blending it with the blues on top of it so I don't want the black to be straight black but just to darken the edges I, I wanted some black to be put on and then I'm going back once again with the uh, cloth around my finger and blending all of that up on the face I'm doing I'm going to do the same but once this initial blending with the cloth and everything is done I will come back with a blending tool I kind of find that this is like a magic tool what I use as this blending tool is actually 
clay modeling tools or clay sculpting tools. They're easily available and very inexpensive, available in all craft stores. They're called clay modeling tools. And what they are essentially is they look like kind of like a brush with rubber tips of different kinds. They have nice um, chiseled edges of different kinds. So the tops of them, you will see there are different kinds. There are flat ones. Um, there are rounded ones and you use them and you blend them and the pigment lays down so supremely nicely and you get such a wonderful blend like like the pigment settles down and gets into every nook and cranny of the paper and there is nothing not a single uh, little bit of uh, background paper or the watercolor showing up at that point and I absolutely love these tools so if you are the one who does not like to use odorless mineral spirits because you're not um, likely to use um, you know med chemical stuff then i think this tool is a wonderful replacement tool but it ha it is a lot of hard work like you have to go over the entire painting blending each and every area now once again the blending is kind of my preference because i like to paint realistically and i like to have blend uh, nice smooth transitions if you if you're more of like an impressionistic style is what you like and and there is an absolutely i like impressionism too but when i work myself then i tend to like to make it more smooth so if you're more into an impressionistic more like a uh you know what you call it like a very loser style then definitely you don't need to worry so much about blending but um, if you like that blending so these are a few tools a few different ways you can use it i also have a eight two ways or tools to uh, blending oil pastel video you can check that out as well so that will give you ideas about different ways to blend oil pastel if you are keen about blending like you can see i'm using two two to three different kinds of those uh, clay sculpting tools for blending and i'm putting colors in different areas creating um, darks lights highlights and going on over all of the areas and making them uh, nice and smooth so this is pr uh, probably nothing different from any of my paintings but i i have not been using this sculpting tools for a while so that's a uh, that's something a little bit different from my recent videos for oil pastels so give this a try if you have never tried it i'm sure you would love this tool for blending purposes and uh, at this uh, the only thing that is left for me to do now is add some stars and sparkles what i did is i added some little dots and then created lines through it and then blended those a little bit with those sculpting tools again and that kind of gave gave the effect of twinkling stars in the sky so that's something um new too i tried a new technique and it worked out wonderfully so and little more piece of technique that I learned and I wanted to share with you in this painting and all there is left with this painting is cleaning up the edges making the blendings nice and smooth transitions and that's all about the Sagittarius painting do let me know how you like this painting and what else would you learn need would you like to learn about oil pastels or anything any other medium in general i always like to make videos that are most um, based on your uh, interests so that it actually helps you out because these videos are all about you to share my techniques my learnings with you and not really just to share my paintings with you so let me know in, in, your, in the comments what you think about this painting. What else would you like to know, learn? What paintings you would like to make? I like to take suggestions. Not that I can do everything, that I can paint everything and anything. But I like to take suggestions and incorporate them in my paintings. And if you're not already subscribed, do consider subscribing. Hit the uh, subscribe button and also notification button so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching.